Hello, boys and girls, and welcome aboard the French aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle. Here you have a beautiful 1980-something American C-2 Greyhound, also known as the COD, for carrier onboard delivery. Hook is down, coming in the trap, targeting the two-wire. Nailed it! There you have the landing signaling officers, the one on the right being an American. So as you can see, this was a big deal. The French had a film crew on deck for our arrival. Uh, we have done operations like this in the past, although not very often, but nonetheless, a great chance for us to land a C-2 on a different country's aircraft carrier, which, if I'm not mistaken, France might be the only one that we can do that with. Here's a cool shot. Uh, don't be fooled by those propellers. That's just the camera being funky. Uh, but those things are moving very, very fast, and they will kill you if you walk in front of them. There's the aircraft director giving signals to the pilot on how to best line up for the catapult shot. Now we are rocking and rolling and ready to go anytime. That's an American sailor from my squadron giving the thumbs up from his point of view to the French ground personnel, which ultimately pass those along until the crew inside the cockpit is ready to go with a salute. This is a really cool angle to see the tail hook underneath the belly of the airplane. And there we go. About zero to 130 knots in less than two seconds. Okay, that's that same plane come back in for the overhead carrier break. Bunch of Raphaels there on the deck. Pretty sweet to see for the first time. And there's a French flag. And a few minutes later, here they are in the groove. Now, the way we did operations for the first time for each pilot, they got at least one touch and go with a hook up. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. That would be awesome. Okay, so the hook is up. Getting his feel for the landing. Nailed it, full power. Back around, here we go. All right, sparing you guys the boring parts. There are those beautiful Raphaels. Hook is down, targeting the two wire. Nailed it. And here's a cool camera perspective I thought you might enjoy watching for the first time. You can kind of see a point of view of what it's like to actually get the hook released from the arresting cables. Uh, so the guy is saying, hey, you're still uh, in the wires there, so back it on up. Now give the hookup signal. There it is. Pilot brings the hook up. And then once he's cleared the wires, the taxi director says, come on forward. And then he says, get the wires back to where they go. All right, now the same plane and the same pilot in the left seat is gonna take a catapult shot for the first time off the Charles de Gaulle. You can see the effort that it takes to actually get one of these things lined up. Uh, that guy's literally risking life and limb uh, to get the launch bar lined up perfectly in the shuttle. And he's getting the hell out of there now. <laughs> Again, those props are spinning super fast. And there's the plane squatting down, meaning that they are in tension. You just saw that director in the yellow shirt pass off to the shooter to the right, which we cannot see in this angle. Pilots inside are checking all the instruments. Oil pressure, gauges, hides, uh, any caution lights that might flick on. Make sure the circuit breakers are pushed in. Once that's good to go, he gives a, a salute to that shooter, the American shooter with the thumbs up, which he passes on to the French shooter to the right. And here they go. Pretty cool. All right, come back in the trap. A couple quick shots here of some different point of views of arrested landings. Here's a cool one I want to include for you guys. Look at those Raphaels. Look how pointy those noses are. Hey, the mighty battle cod. And here's what the landing looks like from the French Airbus's perspective. Nice. Je ne parle pas français. <laughs> That's all I got. All right, here's another really cool angle of the catapult shot. Give you guys a whole perspective of what it takes to get one of these things off the deck. You can see the wiping out the controls there, the rudder pedals going back and forth. That's just making sure that nothing is stuck. Everything's working as prescribed, and everything looks good from inside the cockpit. Fast forward a little bit. There's a French helicopter. Isn't that just the cutest thing you've ever seen? Uh, they are there to make sure that uh, we don't die if we were to go in the water and have to ditch the airplane that could pull us out, hopefully. And fast forwarding just a little bit, you can see the white shirt there at the nose of the airplane. He's giving signals to the director to taxi it on forward just ever so slightly. He's making sure that the launch bar fits nicely into the shuttle, so there are no issues with the launch. All right, you can see the JBD, the jet blast deflector, coming on up to protect the back of the ship from all the wind, and he's getting the hell out of there. Waiting for the squat, once they're in tension. There's the shooter with a flag in the air. Plane's in tension. I have no idea how that flag is not fly, but that's another conversation for another time. Inside the cockpit, looking at hides, oil, temps, all the gauges, looking for circuit breakers, making sure in. Once that's set and they like it, and then the co pilot likes it, salute to the shooter. And then once the shooter likes it, he acknowledges that, looks to the right, looks behind him, looks to the left, everything looks good, touching the deck, and away they go. 
Woo! And this is another really cool shot from towards the bow of the ship. Get ready to launch. Uh, look at the shooter looking around, touching the deck, and away they go. Hell yeah! America! Uh, and France!